One thing I found with these, these cars that are 30 plus years old, and you've heard me say this before, is just replace the master cylinder. Now we were getting a problem on this particular 280SE where all four brakes were dragging, all four. One worse than the other, that's that right rear one. But uh, when you have all four dragging, it could be the master cylinder is not releasing pressure internally. So, you know, and you can look at the condition of this one. You know, when we, when we replaced it, you could see a little bit of rust coming out of the lines when we pulled them. So it was time. You know, let's start out with a, a known entity, a really good master cylinder. Now, one of the things I want to show you in this video is how we're going to bleed this. You know I like pressure brake bleeding, okay? But for these old cars, it often doesn't work. You, you, you've got an old reservoir with old seals and old caps, and it's probably going to leak. So if you put the pressure bleeder on top this cap and pump up 10 to 15 PSI, you're going to have brake fluid coming out. So what I like to do on the real old cars is use what I call a modified gravity brake bleed method. And what that requires is four capture tanks. These are four little bottles you connect to each caliper, open up each caliper, and you use a combination of very light pedal travel, I'm going to say very light, very short, and gravity to get the system completely bled and flushed. Because whether you're bleeding it because you got air in the system, whether you're bleeding it because you replaced a hose, or whether you're just trying to change the fluid. This is a very good way to do this on the old cars. Now I'm going to go back to the back wheel there and uh, kind of show you at least one wheel how we've set that up with this method and kind of give you a few more tips on how, how we do this because we do carry this kit uh, on my website. If you, know, you can go out and find your own tanks and make them if you want to, but we have, we have four uh, you know, standoff tanks, proper tanks, and we have the correct hose, which will fit on the, right on those uh, brake bleeder nipples that's uh, typical of a lot of these older Mercedes. So let me show you what's going on at the rear wheel, and then I'll talk a little bit more about some of the problems we ran in with this car. This is what the kit looks like, by the way. You can see we've got, uh, we've got these tanks. Each tank has a standpipe in it where the fluid comes down uh, into the bottom of the, the bottle, and then once, once you get up to about an inch, then no longer, air, no longer can you get air sucking back into the hose. And, and I set it that that is because you want about an inch of fluid in there to, to make this work right, okay? You can see here this one, we've completed the bleed on this car, all four wheels, and this the bottle's about half full. That's kind of what I like. I don't skimp on the brake fluid. You've got these old cars with fluid sometimes that's been in there for five, 10, or longer years, and you want to really flush and clean out the system. So um, that's how it works. You just literally take and hook one of these to each of the calipers, open the bleeder fittings, and start putting fluid in to the brake master cylinder reservoir. And you can, you can sit, walk around, take a look, and you can begin to see which ones are flowing better than others. And sure enough, in this car, you know, we had the situ issue with, the, with this particular wheel really sticking. And we decided that the hoses uh, looked really old back here. So we replaced the two rubber brake hoses because we were not getting we were getting a little bit of gravity out of this one, but zero out of the other side. So what we did is we locked up all three, all three of the other calipers, tightened down the fittings, and then we did some light pumping, once again, just light pumping on the master cylinder, and we could not get anything to come into that left rear tank. Let me show you why, okay? Um, you've probably seen this in some of my other videos, but one of... It's amazing how these uh, flexible rubber brake hoses can deteriorate internally over the years. This is a, a small spring steel wire, and I'm just going to demonstrate and show you how the wire should move through one of these brake hoses. No restriction, in and out, easy. Now let's take a look at these two that I removed from this 280 SE. 
I'm going to straighten it out a little bit and try to push the wire into the hose and it's going in there about an inch and a half and locking up. Now I'm going to take it to the other side. It's going to go in about same distance. That one's bad. Now look at this one. Same thing. I cannot get the wire to go down through this hose at all. And you may be asking me, well, Kent, how can the brakes even work? Well, let me explain. The, the rubber that's rotting internally there is still has some flex to it. So when you hit the brake, that's enough hydraulic pressure to force hydraulic fluid right down through and open up the piston so they press on the pad. So you, the brakes will work. But the owner of this car, who happens to be my daughter, called me up and said, Dad, my right rear brake is really hot. It's like smoking hot. So obviously your assumption is, oh, it's a caliper, I need to replace the caliper. Not so fast. You know, you, got, you, you could have caliper, hoses, master cylinder, a number of different issues. And by the way, if you want to really get into the troubleshooting sequence of this, I do have an on-demand video on my website, which I shot through the whole process of how we did everything on this car, including cleaning up and lubricating all the pads and pins and spring mechanisms so that this became a, a very efficient brake system. And literally, we did not have to replace any calipers. You would have thought with one or two of the brakes dragging like that that you're gonna have to buy new calipers. Well, just be forewarned. Don't jump to the gun, remember? Do your diagnosis before you buy parts. So we've, we've replaced these two hoses. We've bled the system. We've locked it. Now, we, we just got in the car hit the brakes real hard and release the brakes and look now see that before when we did that when we first put the car up on the lift we hit the brakes and you could not even budge this rear rotor and a couple of the others were dragging as well so if you have one of these old cars that i would say is you know 70s and older and uh, you're looking at a master cylinder that's at least you know 30 years old I highly recommend that you use this type of brake bleeding method. The gravity method with light pumping. Limited travel, light pumping, primarily using gravity to flush the old fluid out of the system and get new fluid in and get all the air out. So, you know, you can, you can make up something like this, I can tell you, but uh, if you want to just get the kit that we've already put together that works on these old Mercedes, uh, just check out the link in the show more as part of the description of this video and it'll take you right to that product. We also have a lot of other information. We have manuals, we have other pressure brake bleeding tanks and other things that we offer on my website that can help you fix your own hydraulic brakes.